We should start. I'm feeling, I'm feeling jumpy today. I can't find this one. Find what? This, see, you didn't come prepared. <laughs> I, I never come prepared. I never, <laughs> I never come prepared. <laughs> That should be a good, a good <laughs> thumbnail. A thumbnail. That face <laughs> didn't come prepared. <laughs> this is what you choose to play. It's Frank Sinatra, one of the greatest of all time, one of the best, one of the best, like. I'm not New disputing that. I'm just okay. questioning it, your music selection for for like while you're waiting for me yeah, to find something. Frank Sinatra is one of the best waiting music of all time. You ever go to a restaurant, an Italian restaurant, and the, the what, what, what okay specifically is what I'm talking about. Yeah, any type of waiting music. If you okay, if you're if you're gonna have a say you have an office right, right, you could play the basic smooth jazz right. Or you could play some. I feel like if you play hip hop and R, like aggressive, depending on the setting, it's just too much. One of my nail salons played that, and I loved it. Like aggressive, like not aggressive, Rich but or like, like that, Drake stuff. But stuff? yeah, more hip hop. And shit. Okay, this is fine. But I and feel then like the next one played country, and I was like, yeah. See, but if you want to give yuck. people a mixture of a, a calming music, mm -hmm. but then also like a nice vibe, Frank Sinatra is the way to go. You put on a Frank Sinatra playlist, and. No, no, no. You know, you know, you can buy to it. You know, read a magazine. You know, go do a crossword puzzle or something. Uh -huh. When they come out, oh, uh, here for Michael. Oh, yep, I'm here to get my teeth clean or something like that. Bam, you're the next person up. Frank Sinatra's got you in a nice little calm, smoothing mood. It's 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 the calmness. It's the it's the instrumental key. But yeah, usually it's an instrumental version, though. No? Yeah, but sometimes they put the words. The words are just it's it's not supposed to be very loud. It's supposed to be more of a like a but you, like a that's a fucking Christmas song. Like we can have a conversation here, but you hear the music. This motherfucker you know, is playing great, Christmas music. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be Christmas in music, October. But it could be all type. Oh shit, this Same, is Christmas too. Yeah, yeah. Holy fuck, this must have been a Christmas playlist. Yeah. Well, it's never too soon. You know what season it is? We in October. It is never too soon. Come October to play Christmas music. It is not. It is not. Did you know it was Thanksgiving in Canada last weekend? Did you know that? Huh? It was Thanksgiving. Yeah, see, I'm about to put y'all on game. They have different schedules. <laughs> what? They have different schedules of um. Yeah, they, different yeah. holidays. Yeah, different. Uh, what the do United you mean? States is really the only country that really celebrates Thanksgiving, mm. if you ever think about it. Okay. Like, nowhere else. But Canada's Thanksgiving was... I believe I could be wrong, and I don't think it's no. I, I I'm positive it was last week sometime, like last week or the week before. I I promise, I promise. I'm gonna need you to look this shit up. I know I know for a fact it was. You before know how I know? Because a friend, a friend of mine, and say some bullshit. Listen, down here. no, listen, a friend of mine, I'm, and I, I'm a fact check it, but a friend of mine, she had Thanksgiving, and I know it's Thanksgiving because it had the Thanksgiving layout. And I was like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. Because it's not the first time, but I was like, oh, it's Thanksgiving in Canada, huh? Mm. And she was like, yeah, that's today. And I was like, yeah, that's crazy how y'all do it a whole, whole couple. October 10th was Thanksgiving in Canada. Okay. That was a couple days ago. Good. Right? Good. Wow. It says, too. Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving on the second Monday of October. Wow. As that. Wait, what's this? Say? Oh, that's different. Why do they do that? But Yes. The second October, second October, second Monday in October. Mm, yeah. Good to know. Yeah, so it's. I thought it was a nice little fact. You know what I mean? Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Thanksgiving for Canada was in October tenth, second Monday of October. Thank we you, hope you enjoyed for your, that. We hope useless you useless information. How is that useless? For anyone who's living in the U.S., I'm, not visiting Canada for yeah, but Thanksgiving. How do you not know that there's not somebody in? in I'm Canada not saying that. Us? Now you just disrespected the Canadian people. I did not disrespect Canadian people. I felt like people. that was a jab to the Canadian people. Those are some great people over there. Canadian Don't bacon. Don't start some shit. Canadian Won't be bacon. No shit. Canadian bacon is top tier. Of all the things you could see say about Canada, hmm. you go straight to Canadian That's bacon. Fucked up, huh? Hmm. I got other shit, right? See. They, How are you going to talk about Canada, me disrespecting listen, uh, Canada? Canada, Canada is a beautiful place. It honestly is a beautiful. Have place. you been there? I think one time. I was a child. Oh I was a child. I seen pictures. It was nice. Okay. Pictures can do Canada justice. Just like how before you went to Turks and Caicos, you saw pictures, right? And you were like, oh, this is beautiful. Pictures don't do it justice. No, you went and it was even more beautiful. 
Yeah, but but still, it's not the same. Pictures is not the same as experiencing. Hmm. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. What's well, the main news today? <laughs> what is the main news? Aubrey <clears throat> is expecting child. <laughs> Ain't no fucking baby, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> The last thing I need is for you to start some shit. <laughs> and especially some shit like that. Ain't no fucking baby, bitch. How do you... So, let me give you a little backstory of why I said this. So, uh, Aubrey was not feeling well the other day. Uh, she didn't have an appetite. I just didn't have an appetite. Let me finish. Thank you. She didn't have an appetite. She was feeling dizzy, and nauseous. <laughs> let me finish. Dizzy, nauseous, throwing no. up. Skin, no. Skin pig... I was not skin nauseous. Skin pigmentation was lighter. She was just not in the right mindset. I so I asked the series of questions. Me being a, 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 a fellow MD, no, I was not. That's a lie. But I wanted to be. How are you just going to make all this shit up? You were feeling nauseous. I just didn't have an appetite. And I didn't feeling nauseous. feel nauseous. You said you felt I nauseous. I didn't throw up. When's the last time you ate? When? Then? Or are we talking now? No. Today. Earlier. What did you eat today? So far, just coffee. See, she's she's expecting, ladies and gentlemen. All she Why had does was he coffee. think that having no appetite means pregnancy? Which is not even possible, by the way. Mm. If I said, oh, I'm nauseous or I'm craving this shit or I'm having morning sickness. Let yes. me ask you this. Let me ask None you this. of that shit since, has happened. Since we're on the... Since Why we're the on fuck the, would you start some shit like that? Since we're on the baby topic. <clears throat> Ain't no fucking baby If you bitch. had... If you had... <laughs> if you had... <laughs> Stop fucking playing with me. Uh, what, what I don't need is for you to fucking play with me. Never in my 34 fucking years of life have I been pregnant. Not a single time. Listen, call me Wheezy F baby and the F is for fuck them kids. Okay? That's all I'm saying. We're going to get banned. We're not going to get banned. Ain't no fucking baby bitch. And I'm not calling the, the baby bitch. I'm calling you. Respectfully, stop fucking playing with me. Now, one person's gonna watch that part where you just said Aubrey's expecting, and next thing you know, people are gonna think I'm fucking pregnant when I've never been pregnant in my entire fucking life. No, she's low key. I kind of wonder if I can get pregnant because, because I was on birth control for 14 years, which is not good. It's okay? not good, honestly. I read about that too. Yeah, it's literally affected some things, and I've already talked about that, like skin wise and all that shit. But low key, I'm like, damn, can I even get pregnant? And I'm not trying to test the theory at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can go to the doctor and fine. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying. You're just curious. Low key, I'm like, damn, maybe I can't get pregnant, but I'm I mean, not going to test it. But even if you can't, you can still adopt. Adopting is still a great way 100%, to 100%. That's not the issue 100%. or the topic. But, but since we're talking about children. Stop fucking playing with me. Say, say you had, say you had, say you had, <laughs> say you had to pick your top. Three best children names. Uh, that's not something I ever think of. You never think about. That? I never think about baby what? names. I never. I never in my life. Like had... I know my. I think like I know if I had a son or a daughter, I know the names. And what would they be? Well, y'all gonna judge say me? It. You know, well, say the it. Son, say. Son's gonna be Michael, obviously. You know what I mean, it's just no. That's just a, it's a, it's a family thing. Okay. It's a family thing. Got that, it. It would be different if it wasn't, but it's a family. I get thing, it. Okay? Go ahead. Now. Daughter, it would be uh, either Giselle, okay, right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll probably name my daughter uh, Giselle, okay, or um, there was another one. I was thinking Leia, but I'm not hundred percent sure. And where are these names coming from? No, it's just names that I I, I like. There's you know no I mean? nothing but that Giselle, it started. Yeah, no Giselle or. Um, I was thinking Portia, but I was like, uh, okay. I don't know if I like that. But then also the name Mercedes actually. So car names, got it. Well, just those two. You know what I mean, but Alexis, I don't... your name are Alexis. No, that I just don't. Maybe Toyota. Prius. Toyota. Just kidding. Hey Toyota. Oh, that would be... you... oh. Don't Imagine set your child your name, up for failure like if your that. If your name was Toyota, there probably is a kid named Toyota. If your name could be a car, I think it would be Acura. Mine? Yeah. Why Acura. would it be Acura? Because your name's Aubrey now, so I just replaced two A's. Or I just gave you another A name. So Acura. I can see you as a... No. I can see you as a... Don't ever disrespect me like that again. I can see you as a... I don't... I think Mercedes, but no. I can see you as a Bent... No. I'll stick with Aubrey. Thank you. Um, I can see you as an Ashton. Ash? Like yeah. Ashton Martin. Okay. I can I'll see you as Ashton. Ashton. I'll, I'll go with Ashton. That. That I like one. that. I like yeah. that. What, what, what would I be? <laughs> 
<laughs> Answer the fucking question. Um, let me think. What are those tiny little cars? Smart car? I'd probably call you Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even. You couldn't think. Just of to any. be funny. That's not like. Oh, what up, Fiat? No, that does. Your um, name was a good. Your I gave name, you. A, I got you. Mini Cooper. No, what the? <laughs> that's not even. I gave you Ashton, like Ashton Martin. That that was a good one. You gotta think. You gotta live with the decisions you made. You know. You could have gave me like. McLaren. No. I thought McLaren would have been a good one. Anyways, Fiat, relax. Um, but that's not really my thing. Like I've, I'm not the type. I've never like planned my wedding. You know how some girls plan their weddings oh, and their man. wedding dress, what it's gonna look like, the flowers, the setup, the location. I don't do none of that. Some people do that. And I also don't. Events. I've never thought of like kids' names because I've never been in a position where I wanted to have a kid with someone. So it's not something I've thought of. You know, that's not really my thing. I mean, I think of just the first, the firstborn. If it was like a son or a daughter, right? Well, yeah. if you're, yeah, yeah, if your name is continuous from your yeah. parents and grandparents and all that shit, of course, that's yeah. like a junior, second, third, fourth is like, okay, I get that. But the other names you just came up with randomly. Yeah, no, I, I think Porsche is a great name. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, her first car would have to be a Porsche, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> See, but that's a, that's a, the problem with naming kids after cars, because then not they really. have like most something the, to live up to. Not, I mean, most of the most of the people I know who are named Mercedes drives a Mercedes. No. Yeah, most of the most of the girls I know who are named Mercedes drives a Mercedes. How many? I know like two Mercedes. Two. Okay. And they drive two Mercedes. Okay. Yeah, I mean that, that's just two I know. So, but Lexus I mean, has to drive a Lexus. No, but most of the time they do. No, they don't. I mean, I feel. Yeah, I feel like I do. Uh-huh. You know? So, sounds good. So, like, Ashton drives an Ashton Martin. Damn. I see you driving an Ashton Martin. They're not bad. But I see you in a G-Wagon, though, for sure. Okay. Thank for you. Sure. Yeah. yeah Fiat. You definitely need it. I just want to see your big ass fit in a little uh, smart I've, car. I've got into a smart car. It's, com and? it's really comfortable, actually. It's really comfortable. It is. I'm pretty sure. Uh, who has a Fiat that I know? Not if you had a smart car. Somebody who like they just don't seem safe to me. No, they're not safe as fuck. They're not safe at all. That's that's the thing. I feel like one hit and you. You die. look like you're standing up in the car. No, it's like like <laughs> if I'm in the chair. Right you now, can fit like one grocery bag next to you. Not even. You, you got a trunk. Barely. It's enough to hold maybe you know a case of water. Hmm. Horizontally. Right, right. You gotta angle that shit. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's not absolutely in there nice and comfortably. No, hmm. not at all. But interesting. All right, so I saw this post the other day um, that was shared. It's from a company called B Condoms, which is a black-owned, FDA-approved condom company based in Atlanta. And they said, eight things that can happen to the body when you don't have sex for a long time. Okay? Yeah, we went over the Okay. It's crazy. And here are some of the things. Like, there's the obvious ones. Like, you might experience higher stress, anxiety. It might be harder to sleep. You might have unnecessary mood swings or anger, um, but then they get <laughs> they get into some more serious ones, which are um, like for women. Supposedly, if you don't have sex for a long time, it, it could dry up your coochie and make the walls thinner. And for men, it could make your wiener shrink. Jesus Christ. And also, it could be make it more difficult to get hard when you do need to get hard at that time. So, thoughts. I'm a man that can speak from experience. Oh, wasn't sorry. really gonna sorry. say that, but <laughs> she just wanna throw me under the fucking bus, you fucking asshole. <laughs> um, I, I guess I'm not having enough sex then. Uh, Get to fucking. Nah, I mean, that's crazy that that was said because you know we were talking about semen retention not too long ago. Yeah. But I I could see the fatigue part. The time, I, 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 not the, 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 the stress, sh anger, not anger. Really, no, I, I haven't really been angry. Anger. I really haven't been angry. When was the last time I was like really angry? Daily. No, what the fuck? Got anger management. That's just problem? part of your personality. No, I'm, I'm not angry. I'm not. Ang I'm not angry. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, 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 
I'm so sorry. I, that was so uncalled for, and that was so out of character. I that was not, not out of character. <laughs> Stop trying to front. Like that's not I'm how you not are. Angry. I am a very nice man. I, I'm, I'm saying you're nice. You're just very fiery and aggressive. I, no, I'm not aggressive at all. Yes, the fuck you that are. Was so, I, I honestly, I will write everyone a written apology. That was so uncalled for. I am so sorry. No, you're not. I have. I am a new. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's, no. But back to what I was saying. <clears throat> I'm not angry. <laughs> mm. I'm not angry. Right. Um, the, the, Unnecessary mood swings, stress, anxiety, sleep. Stress. Not really. It also can cause a weaker immune system and make you sick more often. But I think all of these things, there was other things like um, you're at a higher risk of developing like heart disease or even prostate cancer. Yeah, those are things that high I'm blood definitely... pressure. But I think this is when you don't go, when you go without sex for a long period of time, like, like, like a long, long period of time, like probably like years, 10 years or a couple of years. Oh, shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, ten yeah. years, Jesus Christ. That's a long fucking time. Jesus help us. You know what I mean? That's a long time. It is a long time. That's a long so. time. But that's, I mean. That, so I, how does that make you feel about holding out or not having sex? I mean, it's. Uh, to me, I necessarily don't want to necessarily hold out, but at the same time, I'm not just jumping in bed with anyone. Right. Me? So, but I mean, it's more, it's good to know, like, okay, these are the benefits of it. Yeah. So I know there are going to be some benefits of when I do, you know, do the deed. But there's other benefits. One benefit that I've just tried, and that's funny, I, I saw that one, and then all of a sudden, I started seeing like health benefits from daily things you could change, like yeah. sex, all that other shit. Another benefit was obviously a cold shower in the morning. Everybody's heard that one. But the sauna, I've seen the sauna. No, no, okay, that's what that's what I'm about to say. So now I I've I've done this for maybe going on three months now. I started, I changed my whole training schedule. Mm -hmm. I train in the morning, five a.m. Okay. F I train at five a.m. Oh, actually, I train at five a.m. and then six a.m. on Saturdays. But nobody asked. Keep uh, going. But the, I have to get no. The detail is in the morning. That's okay. what I'm saying. So you start the day right, uh -huh. working out, and then from there I do ten minutes in the sauna. 10 uh, like 10 minutes in the steam room and then maybe one another five minutes in the sauna i and it said there's a lot of benefits to it 100 yeah. and i, can't I saw it was like off. 20 minutes four times a week four four times a week for 20 minutes it, in the sauna. It, it, it decreases yeah. the percentage of a whole bunch of all stuff. these like health but risks. i was just trying to see how i felt in general yeah and when i say i have just it has catapulted my day mm. In terms of st like, I feel so much more accomplished. Yeah. Mind my mindset, but then also you know energy wise, you know, the hardest part is getting up though, hundred percent. But once you get in there, you work out, and then you get into the sauna. I'm just like, yeah, I could just clear my mind and set the tone for yeah. the day. I'm I'm no matter what the day throws at me, I'm just in so, a much better mood. And then when I get home, I'm just like. Then you can relax. Well, I fall. I fall. I I've been sleeping so well. Yeah. To the point where like, and I've a couple things I also did was I removed all the pillows in my bed. I have only one pillow in my bed. There's only actually I lie. There's there's two pillows. There's one pillow behind my neck, uh -huh. and then there's one pillow that goes underneath my knees, right? So and I I sleep on my back. Hands are. So how is that removing pillows? It's, removing I, I used all the to, pillows. Oh, you used to have twelve on there. You did not have 12. Yes, I I've do. I've been your place. You did not have 12. I promise you I had 12. When was the last time you were there? You had that triangle pillow. When, when was the last time you were there? And you had two pillows. So when I was said. the last time you were there? Months. Exactly. Things change in a short period of time. Thank you. Um, Ain't so, no fucking way you had 12 pillows. I have around 12 pillows right now. Between put it on something. No, I don't put shit on yeah, anything. Exactly. No, 8 to 12. Eight to, oh, now it's eight to 12. I'm just giving you a, Next thing you know, I'm it's just three. giving you a happy meeting. No, it's not three. It's more than that. But it's two in on the bed. Yeah. One behind my neck, and it's a very a soft pillow, but not too soft, okay? Nice and firm, right? And then one mm -hmm. uh, bigger pillow, fluffy pillow underneath my knees. I've been sleeping like a baby. I'm happy for you. You should be. You should honestly do it because you sleep in the incline. Your head is up when you sleep. I sleep on my side. And what side, stomach. though? What side? Both. It's bad to sleep on your I right flip side. Up throughout the night. It's bad to sleep on your right side. Always sleep on your left. Okay. It's not going to change, uh, but I'm, thank you. That was from a doctor. Thank you, Dr. Michael. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> as we much know. as I would like to be, I'm not a doctor. We know. Yeah. But Believe it's, me, it's we know. Listen, I'm learning so much so much stuff from not TikTok, but everywhere. So you think that 
benefits you. Oh, 100%. I think that benefits my energy levels, my sex life, all that shit. Okay. What was that I look for? What sex life? <laughs> it's, 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 it's a good life. It's just very different than other people. My sex life is very, like, small. When I say small, like, it's a small group. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that sounds bad. But not a group, but like it's a, like what? I'm not out here just fucking anything. You know what I'm saying? Great. Yeah, That's which fine. is fine. That's my sex life. My sex life is different than your sex life. Is it not? Is it, It's different, right? Because you don't have one. You, no, I do, but it's. it's don't it's, act like it's a small group. And then when I say I'm small just group, like a big it, group. No, it not, not, no, but I'm saying like mine is more spread out in terms of like, like Versus. I don't have sex as frequently as you do. Correct. 100%. Okay, hundred percent. That's just that's just me. I, oh, but yours fuck. is also inconsistent. Mine's consistent. Yeah, no, I mine's is inconsistent, but at the same time, yours it's just is very like, sporadic, as opposed to a consistent. And that's thing. just my sex life, and that's okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. yeah, no. I listen. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Okay, why did your voice get so high? I'm just saying, ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Shit. You know I'm what I'm saying? For you. Yeah, I like. I mean. Shit, like, would it be nice to have consistency? 100%. But the last time I had consistency, they said, got a blast. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. But that wasn't even consistent. It, it's, oh, that, that was sporadic, too. It's consistent as it's going to get. You know what I'm saying? Sex-wise, that was sporadic, too. Probably. I think I threw out my back the first time with that one. Throw out your back for what? I won't talk about it. No. Say what you got to say. So, okay. Uh, How I'll do you throw out story. your back? In sex? Yeah. So, if you, if you, if you have sex... <laughs> And trust me, I, I did a lot of research. <laughs> the the bed was the, the this is where the mistake was made. Okay, so mm -hmm. obviously we were in a hotel vacation, right? Okay. It was like a, a massive bed, but it was two kings put together. Right. Okay. I didn't. I thought they made massive beds like that. I didn't know they put it together. But think of think of the the crease in the middle, right? Yeah. God is my witness. I end up in the crease. Okay. I was it like I'm laying down in the crease. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. No, I am, right? Well, why would you continue? I didn't, like, in the moment, you're not thinking, oh, let's have sex. Oh, Move let over. me go to the crease. You, you, but I was there, all right? So let's move, you know what I'm saying? It happens, okay? I end up in the crease, okay? Certain sure positions can throw your back if there's no support on your lower back. Now, th stay with me now. Think of the crease, okay? Certain sure positions can throw your back depending on how friction is moving, okay? So you were on your back. Yes, Okay. So she threw out your back. You didn't throw out your back. No, that's what I'm saying. My fault. She threw out my back. Yeah. Because she was on top. Right. Yeah. And the, I was, the, that's not what I was expecting. What did you you thought? What did you think I was doing? Like were, hanging from a fucking ceiling? I thought you were beating cheeks and then threw out your back. I don't think you could beat cheeks and like, give me an example of how you could beat cheeks. Y'all know you like pretty much twerk when you are beating cheeks. Ain't nobody fucking twerking over here. Think, a, think about it. Think about it. Z, you ever twerk where you're beating some cheese? <laughs> think about what it. What the fuck? No. Think about it. Who's? Y'all are thrusting you're forward. You're twerking? Yes. You're twerking? Yes. What? You're twerking. You've not seen it where I people. Don't, I don't know, Ari. Twerking. Men are, men are basically twerking, so that's what I'm saying. That's how you could throw out your are back. Are you serious? No, no, yes. no. I disagree. Yes, bro. What is twerking? It's twerk. Okay. Okay. What twerking, is twerking? Twerking is when you put that arch in your back, all right? Uh-huh. Ain't no man putting no arch in the back to be some cheeks. Michael, think about it. Just think about the position of a man beating some cheeks. Yeah, but I don't I don't call it twerking. I know you don't call it, but, but no, that's exactly but, like, what it listen. looks like. If someone from the outside was supposed to looking in at what was happening, it but looks here, like okay, a man's twerking. I feel like I feel somewhat. like it's more twerking if the man is doing all the work. Okay, but literally, okay, beating but, cheeks, you're doing the work. No, that's what it looks like. That's how. Twerking. That's all I'm saying is that's the idea that popped in my head when you said you threw out your back. Never, okay, yeah, no, I was, I was not you just laying there. Yeah, and but then you my, throw out your back. Yeah, because make that make sense. It makes sense. There was no support underneath my back. So if you if you keep hitting with friction, right, at one position, uh -huh. your back is gonna fold. Uh -huh. So think about that. Your your back can it's not supposed to, okay. but it can fold like that. That's so just, I just it was unexpected. No, hundred percent. That's why I explained it. You know what wow. I mean? You know what I mean? But I never heard no man blow the back, but it twerking. <laughs> well, maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't you, know. you ever had a man throw his back during sex? No. Okay. Because he wasn't twerking. <laughs> exactly. That that I twerk was... and I don't throw my back. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is that's the most ideal thing that comes to mind. That you're beating some cheeks and that's how you throw it out. 
You feel me? Not just laying there. Since we're here at Beating Cheeks, okay? Since we're, <laughs> since we're on this topic, right? Um, Let's, now we're going to go to our draft. The top three best positions. Oh, my God. Here we are. Michaels is going to be Ooh. from the back, standing up from the back. No, the fuck is not. That's uh, all that you've ever said. No, it's not. Okay, you get the first pick. Because I can't pick something that you pick. And what is this? Best positions to get down. Um, hmm. Pick number one. Pick number one. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Zeke gonna set up a nice little draft board for you. You don't need to tell him. No, um, no, no, no. They know. Damn, is it that you? You get the fir- think of you're the first pick in the draft. Okay. I know. This I'm, means I'm thinking of a good best one. Best position. Because if you don't get it, I'm obviously trying to take it. You're just gonna be doggy style. No, it's three. not. Um. <laughs> Why does it? Why do why? Because you you've told me. All okay, but that is it. I've may have learned different ones. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna go with from the side, one leg up. Damn, you should pick dog style. I'm gonna take exactly. That shit. that shit is that that's shit is all you're gonna tier. pick. Yeah, that's yeah, great. but now all right, you're, you get another one. Um. Okay, missionary legs over his shoulder, toes in his mouth. Oh, Jesus, why are you trying to get so description? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can't even do missionary because you just took that one. Missionary is down here. I, 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 I realized that one. I think it's more intimate. I think I think I don't know what you would call this one. On the floor, not on the floor, but like on the bed, lay on the bed, mm-hmm. right? But laying like flat and I'm on top. What you what was that? What was that? Well, now like she's thing. on her stomach? Yeah. And just flat. Okay. That's not doggy though. That's not. That wouldn't be doggy, right? Just, okay, continue. What would so, you call that one? So if she's laying flat and you're beating cheeks that way. Okay, yeah. got it. Um my third one it's just three, right? Top yeah. three. Third one would probably be reverse cowgirl, but my my legs are like in between his so instead of on the outside. But it's reverse. So, mm-hmm. so your back is too. I'm him. facing his feet. Yeah. But then where's your legs? My legs go in between his legs. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then mine's probably my last one would be. Say it. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. You don't even know what it is. I know what it is. What is it? Standing. <laughs> She's been over all three of yours. <laughs> It's, Our it's, doggy it's, it's, style, no, like a standing, different variations. It's a standing against standing, the wall, All different. Michael wants what is you, it's, it's, bent over, standing, laying flat, with, or with on your knees, doggy style. That's it. Did I not call this shit? I think those are good good choices. All Michael wants I think those is to good. hit it from the back. That's all I'm saying. Tell me I'm lying. I, and I, I like... I Tell like, me I'm lying. I like... I like I actually... Fun cow, cow girl too. That's 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 gross. Whatever. That'd, that'd be mine. Your top three were doggy style variations. That's it. There's more to life than doggy I like missionary, style. but you took it. I do like missionary. I've grown, but you can't do missionary with everyone. That's a, why not? Because I feel like missionary is a very intimate position. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. But why wouldn't you? Well, not like you're having sex. Yes, but that's I feel like intimate in itself. Hundred percent. But I'm saying I'm saying like some people, it's more intimate. More passionate than uh, like some girls don't like missionary. That's how you do it, yeah. Because some girls are just like, oh, this is not passionate. I'm just, I'm just trying to get get it in. And then some okay. are they want to be very passionate and very intimate. I feel like there could be a difference. Yes, it's sex. Sex is very intimate. But I feel like there could be a difference between just sex, just to have sex, or sex to be uh, intimate, mm-hmm. like very, very, very intimate. I think that that's just my opinion. Yeah. I think that that can be you know because I've seen is, both sides. Which is why you stick to doggy. <laughs> No, cause I've I've done I've done I've done missionary. I have. It was very for a split second, and then you're like flip over. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, no. Oh, Sounds no. good. It is good. Hmm. It is good. Speaking of, it's cuffing season. Yeah. And where are you at in your cuffing season? I'm doing well. Um, I've I think I'm gonna take the season off to really focus <laughs> on myself. Um, uh, actually, let's. Pan the, pan the camera a little bit. I think I'm really just going to focus on myself in this season. The last couple of seasons, I've really tried to dive into something that really just, you know, didn't work out for, for me. 
Um, so I think this season may be a more of a, a very spiritual self-healing season um, for me. So I think I will not be, I don't think, I don't, uh, things could change, but I don't think I will be cuffing this season. Um, I think I will be watching others, you know, participate as I stand on the side. Hmm. What about you, Aubrey? I, actually, I can answer Aubrey's too. Aubrey will not be cuffing <laughs> either this season. Although Don't speak she, for me. All right, all I right. want to. Every year. See how it's I want, want. <laughs> Every year, I want to be in matching fucking pajamas by Christmas. And, it and how never, many years have that happened? It never fucking happens. Even when I was in a relationship, that shit never happened. That's crazy. Every you still year. got time, though. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm actively looking for it, but it's it's it is the season of the cuff because yes. hol- holiday season in a relationship is starting in October. It's like nothing but like cuffing season activities. Like October, you got Halloween, you Thanksgiving, can dress up as a couple for Halloween. I love that shit. That I yeah. live for shit like we that. Know you. We post it every. I Sunday. haven't. Hey, hey, shit, shit. Jesus, Lord, I love dressing up as a couple for Halloween. I've only done it a few times. But I love that shit. Okay. I don't like that shit. Why not? I, I just don't dress up. I don't really celebrate Halloween. I haven't dressed up for Halloween in probably five years. Okay. Now I dress up for to you know, Mom slang shit. costumes and shit. But um why that word? You could have just said where slanging costumes. <laughs> you know, the vibes. And um, but yeah, I haven't dressed up and actually gone out for Halloween. So you and I can dress up though. I'm good. Um we could be gremlins. There's a gremlin costume. I I, I don't want to wear that. Okay, but we yeah. could. Okay, you can also. I'm gonna be handsome Squidward for <laughs> Halloween. Some That's... girl said he looked like handsome Squidward, and I cried when you texted me that shit. I was, I mean, That's what I she... don't just I don't see it. It's the head shape. I think it's the hair. No, the, the, the he doesn't. Even, the you can't hair? even see my. You can't even see my chin. Because you don't have that chin, but because of the hair, that's what it looks like. And then it's the the side profile head how would, shape. How would you even be handsome Squidward for? You get tentacles. You get the whole costume with his his whatever, and whatever he wears. What does he wear? A t shirt or what does he wear? He doesn't wear pants. Yeah, just a shirt. But you can wear like one of those like you know those blue man <sighs> suits and just wear it so that you have no pants on, but it's the full on jumpsuit. Yeah, and get the shirt. Maybe paint your face. I don't know. Blue. This just sounds like a lot of work. It's I'm, funny. I, to go where with it? There's Halloween parties, I'm sure. I don't I do not do that. I don't participate in those activities. Well, maybe you should. You'd probably win a contest. No, I, I don't think I look like his screw at all. Now, if you find a costume that looks... I'll give you, I'll give you this. If you find a costume that <laughs> looks like it, like top tier... <laughs> I'll wear it on the episode. Don't tempt me with a good time. But it has to be top tier. If it's not top tier, I'll wear it on I'll wear it on a Halloween special episode. Say yeah, less. Yeah. But if it's not, I'm not wearing that Say shit. Say fucking less. And I'll get to pick your costume, no, too. No, that's not how this works. Damn, what costume, uh, then? <laughs> I have one in mind. <laughs> what is it? Hmm. Due time. You're not going to tell me? No. Okay. Doesn't sound Just, promising. Oh, oh, but it uh, mm. yeah, a well, gremlin, a little bit, nang, 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 nang. yeah, yeah, something gremlin. like that, something like that, because we are gremlins. We are not gremlins. We got left for. We got left for gremlins. We did. I I got left for gremlins. Aubrey got left for gremlins. Then they came multiple back. times. And then they left multiple again. Multiple exes. And then they came back. They left. Nang, 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 nang. <laughs> I'm currently. That's left. the sound of a gremlin. I I got left for a, a, a gremlin, and those two gremlins are happily ever after. Yeah. I'm more happy for them. Yeah, 100%. All right, so the other things you can do during cuffing season in October, haunted houses. Would you ever go to a haunted house? That's not really my thing. I don't like walking. I like the rides. Yeah. But I don't like the walking haunted house. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, no. I I don't like like the walking, though, because it's just more like I don't like it. You want one you have to run through? No, or they like, chase you with a chainsaw. Fuck no, that's not. That's, that's Halloween creepy. Horror Nights was was a big thing back home, so yeah. we would always go to that. Um, but Disney, I used to go to Disney's Halloween thing too. It, that one's like for kids, but it was fun to take my nieces and my babies there. Right. But I'm not a I'm not a big I'm not a big Halloween guy though. So it's just like yeah. no, and kids don't really trick or treat in my neighborhood. Yeah, so same. It's, it's not like the. 
It's not like back home where, you know, they trick or treat, you know, you get to see the costumes. Like yeah. That. It's not like that here. So also pumpkin patch. I love shit like that. It's like so easy <clears throat> during cuffing season to do shit that's like not your typical dinner, movies, whatever. Pumpkin patch, I fucking love that shit. I just do you understand don't. me? Do you know how much, you know how much I like? Chris, would... Christmas is my thing. Like, you, I like the Christmas vibes. All that shit. All the holiday shit. Do you know how, like, it's so easy if some guy was just like, let's go to a pumpkin patch. Or I want to take you to a pumpkin patch or an apple orchard or do this Halloween ass shit. I'd yeah, be like. Do they do that? No, they don't fucking do it. It's so simple. It is so fucking simple. I ain't picking nobody. Thank you. And you're giving the time to the wrong man. Thank you. Come again. Try ne- try again next year. Well, they don't. Cuffing season was canceled. They don't try, and that's why I'm single. Thank you. Going on year 23. <clears throat> um, no, going on year. 47. Four. Three Wait. or four. No, you you were in a relationship three years ago. Um, we broke up in 2018. Damn. 2018, 2019. So you haven't been single that long. That's not long, you? Three to four years. Do you think that's a long time? That's a long fucking time, bro. I know you've been single your whole goddamn life, but... No, I, I mean, I was in a relationship in high school, college. Had been like seven years to one. Barely. It was a relationship. Barely. You know, I just, you know, that's just me. Yeah, we know. I don't trust people. <laughs> Why? Because someone hurt you in fourth grade, and now you forever take it out on every girl's I said high school, not fucking fourth grade. My best friend... He's still human dog. But he Let's get to the bottom of this. What happened? Brandon. That's what the fuck happened. And what happened? My best friend. He's still my best. He's still one of my best friend to this day because okay. we were in fourth grade. But he. It was actually was fourth grade. That was a good catch. He. But I wasn't dating. We were children. We were kids. But this girl, like her name was Daniela. Miss mm-hmm. girl, I had the biggest crush on her. She was Brazilian, I think. Okay. Or Colombian, one or the other. And I had the biggest crush on her. But me and Brandon were best friends, yeah. and she had the biggest crush on Brandon. Okay. And uh, Brandon, I guess they, or whatever you want to call fourth graders do, you know. Holding hands. Hold, dating, in a sense. Like, okay. oh, that's my girlfriend. And I was just like, I was devastated. I was so, so devastated. So ever since then, you've never trusted a woman. <laughs> yeah, no, because she made it seem like she made it seem like she wanted to pursue something with me. In fourth grade. In fourth grade, and that, that didn't go nowhere. And you let that scar you for life. It really hurt, and then I upgraded. Um, to college, and she was in my dance. But I didn't go back. From fourth grade. I don't go back. <laughs> From fourth grade. Yeah, no, it really fucked You do up. go back. You do. I've dabbled a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I need to cut that shit out, actually. That shit is... You need I, to cut people off for good. I do. And you don't. I, 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 I fucking need to. I really do. What is it? You get bored? No, no. It's just... I. Get, I is it lon- I try, lonely, lonely, no, no, bored? No, no, no. It's not because I can replace... That's not the thing. I think it's I try to see the good in people. You try even, to look past the I try, bullshit no, they I, do no, to you? Listen. To keep it 100. This is... Just, this, is this is... Listen. It's a little soft-ass segment with Mike T. Soft-ass shit by Mike, presents to you by Mike T. I, I really l- try and look... Pass the bad. You know what I mean? I really try and give people chances and chances and chances and opportunities. Okay? But what I've learned in the past three years or so that I sometimes you just got to let them go. You got to fly. You know what I'm saying? You have to fly like an eagle. All right? And I really, really be giving people too many chances. I really do. I really do. And the only person I can blame is myself. Mm-hmm. But I really g- give people too many chances. That's why I keep going back. It's because I'm just like, oh, we can try again. You know what I mean? I forgive you. And it, I, I see it as a good thing. I'm a very forgiving man. But then I also see it as a very bad thing where it's just like, yo, you know you're not supposed to be here. It's like it's like this. It's like this. Your mother tells you the stove hot. You know the stove hot. Yet you still keep touching it. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, come on. You know, that's what she did. You, see, you know, you start, that, you start, you know what I'm saying? I got to start him. You know, no, don't go back. You want to read? No, don't reach for the fucking phone. Don't tell, no. I you know try to tell you. And, you know, I've been better, but I still have some work to do. I still have some flying to be done. You know what I mean, I still have some flying to be done. Hmm. Okay. But we are moving in the right direction. So I thank you for that. Go ahead, give me your hand and let me thank you real quick. Thank you. Thank you. Why the fuck your hands so goddamn cold? 
My um, hands are always cold and my feet. I didn't ask for that. Men hate it. I, I didn't ask for that either. So I put my feet just, on them. Just giving us fucking facts yeah. that we didn't ask for. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Another What's this, a fucking irrelevant ass fact. F- fact by Aubrey. Her feet are cold. I don't know why my shit's Men don't cold. like it, but they'll still put, stick them in their fucking mouth. All right? So. You ain't never lie. Never do. Never fucking do. Yeah, you do. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, so that's I, why you're the way you are. Yeah. But I. Uh, uh, Interesting. I cut that out. I feel like a lot of men are like that. They get yeah. hurt when they were younger. Oh, yeah. And then they fucking take it out on every other chick for the rest of their fucking life because of what Britney did in fourth grade. Yeah. But I also, I don't, I'm not a fan. <laughs> no, 100%. But I also <laughs> learned too that I need. Uh, a woman somewhat similar to me, but then different in a, in a sense of like, mm. I can't, I can't do any pushovers. I can't. That's not <laughs> like. You can't have someone that's super soft. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You that's do need someone who. I need an asshole. Mm. In a sense. You need an asshole but not, who. Can not talk, like a dick can asshole take like shit. you. Okay. Yeah. Can take not like shit a fucking, and talk a little shit back. Yeah. hundred percent. But also makes you chase her. Mm. To turn a certain extent, I don't want to be chasing for the rest of my life. She, but if she's readily available at every chance that you're trying to see her and text her, you don't like it. Not necessarily. It, it depends on it depends on if 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 you like the hard to get. You I, like I like the hard to get to a certain extent. Yeah, not like, completely. Yeah, hundred percent. But at the same time, it's just like if it's I don't like the soft <laughs> pouting. If you don't get your way, you're gonna pout. I I don't like that. I, I as much as it's 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 you know. No, I I'm sorry. As much as it's nothing, I don't like that. You know what I mean, I just it's not something for me. Don't get me wrong. If that's a way, lady, mm-hmm. that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not for me. And mm-hmm. I try to look past that at times, but I'm just like, no, I need a dog. You know, what I'm not a dog, but like a dog mindset, like an athletic mindset at times. Like I do well with women who are athletes. Okay, in what way? Well, their, their mindset is their go-getter. You know what okay. I mean? So they'll go get w- what they want. But then at the same time, they got that. Most athletes got the little dog in them, the little chip. You know what I mean? Like on the field, you get a little dirty when you need to. You know what I'm saying? You know, okay. you know what I'm saying, little brother? You know, you get a little dirty. No, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You're not really an athlete like that. You know what I mean? Which is fine. Is it? You know what I mean? But you're still an asshole. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. But I like like somebody like, yo, very competitive. Yeah. Very like, oh, what's up? You know what I mean? And that will challenge you, maybe. Yeah, ch- uh, yeah. Somebody challenge me, keep me on my tones, talk some shit, put me in my place at times. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, we'll just be like very sweet, nice, guiding, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can have both. You can have yeah. both. You can be bougie and a dog at the same time. And when I say I dog. I don't like that you're calling them like dogs. The, what is up with that? I don't mean that? like a dog. Y'all, see, here's the thing. Y'all, y'all, when y'all hear the word dog, y'all just think a negative portrayal. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, did you hear that fucking word? I think you and used it I wrong. Fuck it. No, I was he, did I use it wrong? Negative betrayal. No, portrayal. Portrayal. Put portrayal. Did I use that right? <laughs> no. Fuck. I think I was thinking. Zeke, of a, did you hear that? I think I was thinking of a different word. When it's. <sighs> the fuck are you trying to say? A word that is is fuck. What's the word? Portrayed as. Thank you. Portrayed. Yeah. Why the fuck did I say portrayal? And why did I add the trail? Portrayed. <laughs> fuck. All right, let's rewind. Let's rewind. Negatively. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. Ain't rewind. no rewinding. Rewind. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Fuck. But yes, you know, it, so it's... people perceive... Yes. ...dog negatively. People perceive dogs as negative. You're where a dog can be a very sweet, you know, loving person. Dogs are very sweet. I don't think but, comparing women to dogs is just... I'm the, not comparing... The I'm direction comparing, you should be going. No, no. I'm not comparing women to dogs. I'm comparing a mindset. Okay. You could have a dog mindset. That could be a man, women, whatever. If you have a dog mindset where you're just like, yo, I'm going to go get what I want, but I'm also, it can be a loving protector. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But then, you know, uh, an athlete, dogs, are, some dogs are athletes, not all. You know what I mean? We're going to need a new term. That's all I'm saying. If, bro, it's a mindset. <laughs> it's a fucking mind. I'm sorry. I got to Look at that again. anger. Jesus. Can you just like get laid I, or something? That doesn't even, that has nothing. <laughs> Even, Your anger is showing. That no, that has nothing to do with getting laid. Side effect. <laughs> huh? It's a side effect of no cheeks. That's not. I've never even heard of that. I just talked about it. But. Yeah, but I'm saying like I don't think for me it's not a side effect. I'm like this with cheeks or without cheeks. 
You what? act different. Okay. I'll say that. I act different when I'll I get cheeks. That. I act different when I get cheeks. What's what, what's when you've one different? gone maybe outside of this whole semen retention type shit? Yeah. Okay, but before you yeah. were that was your mindset. Mm-hmm. Before that, okay. Your um, my energy is that? <laughs> no, I don't fucking know about your energy. Your when there was a girl that you were feeling after you had not beaten cheeks in a long time. Yeah. Okay. You for some reason were like, oh, I think I'm gonna make her my girl. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're literally like, I'm I'm kind of feeling her. Like, I think I uh I really like her. I think I could see myself with her, and uh, maybe we could be in a relationship. Okay. Leading up to it a couple weeks, and then maybe you won't see them until a couple weeks later, and you're just like. I kind of like her. Like, I really, you know, I fuck with her. And this is all because <laughs> you like girls that are usually long distance, mm-hmm. not Because I, I like here. my space. I like my space. You like your space. But it also, I will say the benefit of that is that you do get to know them better. I do. Without yes. the sex. 100%. Okay. And that's something, you know, that's something I look for. Because. Yes. I Meaningful so, sex is. So you're like getting to know them. Okay. Through FaceTime. Because you're big on FaceTime. Texts. Shit like that. That's a good, that's a benefit of your like little long distant strategy. Okay. <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Sure, okay. Sure. So you do get to know them. It, you can't do anything physically. Okay. So I'll give you that. So then you're getting to know them. There's no sex until right. so a couple what? weeks, months, whatever right. later. I get and it. you're like, I think I could, you know, maybe a relationship. And, and then, then you after, get it. And then after. Then huh. you have sex. You beat some cheeks. Yeah. And the second you beat some cheeks, bro, I'm like, oh, how was it? Like, you know, hanging out with them and all that shit. And obviously you hooked up with them. How was the weekend, the day, whatever? And sometimes it goes well. I'm not saying it doesn't go well. No, but I'm saying my reaction is, oh, I still, I still fuck her. And then sometimes, no, it's not all the time. Sometimes it'll go well. Like the next day I'll be like, okay, yeah, I still fuck her. And then sometimes it's. No. Every time you beat some cheeks. In this scenario, previously before this whole semen retention thing, every time you beat some cheeks, the the next time I talk to you after this person has left or you like leave this this person, is I'm like, oh, so are you gonna like you say like you're trying to make her your girl? Like, is it gonna be a relationship? You're like, nah, I'm still single. I'm still gonna. <laughs> you're like, nah. You switch up every time. I'm like. All you needed was some ass. That's all you had to say. <laughs> nah. When you go a long time without ass, you act like you want a girl. You act like you want a relationship. And then you beat some cheeks and you completely switch up to, I'm good. I'm single. These hoes need me. No, I'm just yeah. saying. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These hoes need me. No, I'm saying. I never said that. Yes, I've never yes, said you have. that shit. He's old, I got a fresh cut. He's old, oh, me. I never said that shit. That's exactly how I you like, act. I said these streets need me. I have said these streets need me. It's hoes, not streets. Huh. You just switch up. So I just think that <laughs> you act totally different. And then you beat cheeks and you're back to normal. Back to single Michael, living life, content because he fucking beat some cheeks in. God. And I'm just like. It's okay to just say you want to fuck. It's okay to just find someone that you can just sleep with. Okay, you don't need to act like you want a relationship. I don't think I was. I, just, I really thought there may have been something no. there. No, you wanted to beat some cheeks, and you got it, and that's fine. But the switch up is crazy. <laughs> the switch up is crazy. Okay. Night and day. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs>